Now I'm going to show you three super easy ways to change your brush size in Photoshop. The first and most basic way of doing so is just by accessing your brush tool by pressing B on your keyboard, then just right clicking on your canvas to open up the brush preset picker. Now here you can see the size and the hardness sliders that you can just adjust accordingly to change the size of your brush as you see here. Now this of course involves a lot more clicking than our other methods, but it is good if you want to change your brush tip as well as the size at the same time. Now if you don't really care about changing what brush you're using and you just want to focus on the size, you can also use the right and left bracket keys on your keyboard using the right bracket key to scale up and the left bracket key to scale down your brush. Now you might be thinking, hey, that's pretty convenient, but I have one more method that I think is the absolute best way of changing your brush size. And it's a little bit different on Mac and PC. Now I'm on a Mac, so I'm gonna use that example first by holding control and option and then clicking and dragging horizontally to change the brush size. As you see here, that red highlight just represents what your brush is doing. So as I move my mouse, horizontally, it makes that brush larger depending if I move it left or right. Now to take this one step further, if I drag up or down, it also changes the hardness of that brush, which is super convenient. Now, if you're on a PC computer, the shortcut is a little bit different for this same action. Instead, you're gonna press Control, Alt, and then right click and drag to do the same result. So again, really quickly on a Mac, it's Control and Option, click and drag horizontally, but then on a PC, it is Control and Alt, right click and drag horizontally. And of course on a PC, you can also drag up and down to change the hardness of that as well. So this is super convenient because you can just paint a brush like so, and then go and change the size and hardness at the same time, paint a totally different brush stroke, play around with the size and hardness again, totally different brush stroke, and you never have to open a panel or touch a slider. So if you found this tutorial helpful, make sure to hit that like button down below. And of course, make sure to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with more Photoshop tips just like today. Anyways, my name is Brennan from bewellcreative.com and I'll catch you back here next time for another new tutorial. See you then.